okay so vulnerabilities so we are we are talking about vulnerabilities so vulnerabilities when vulnerabilities are created when you are not updating the software in your system when you are using pirated operating system at that time vulnerability is created in your computer or you are any kind of operating system like android ios etc okay so i am going to teach you all different kinds of vulnerabilities here as well as i am going to teach you various cyber attacks okay how to perform the cyber attacks is cyber attacks then uh, how to secure your os or your server against cyber attacks this kind of a thing i am going to teach you now the question will be arises in your mind hey uh, performing cyber attack is a crime correct so how you are going to teach us this thing so i am going to use use some of the website which are allowed by us government okay allowed websites by us government for hacking okay some of the websites are provided by us government for hacking purpose so you can hack this website and it will not be treated as a crime so i am going to teach you uh, I, uh, the attacks on all these websites also i am going to use one of the uh, user created software or operating system which is called as a dwa dwa means dam vulnerable web application so we are going to perform the attack on this dam vulnerable web application and we are using this us government website for performing for practicing our hacking skill so you will ask me the question hey why you are uh, teaching us cyber attack okay we don't want to teach uh, learn here cyber attack we want to become a cyber police cyber security expert but do you know that if you know cyber attack if you know how attacker performs the attack then only you can understand how to secure your server your network your company against the cyber attack correct so first you must understand how to perform the attack then only you can understand how to secure your operating system your server against the attack so i am going to teach you both the things how to perform attacks as well as how to secure your operating system obviously if i will teach you this attack and if you are performing this attack on any of the legitimate website like a google facebook then i will be or joy trace technology will not be responsible for this okay so i am requesting you whenever i am going to teach you anything please perform this use this knowledge for the learning purpose only for uh, working as a cyber security professional there this is the information regarding this course okay this course is provided by ec council it has total 125 number of questions four hours of exam will be there multiple choice questions will be there and its validity will be 3 years and what is the cost cost is around 500 dollar okay now whether the certification will be provided in this course so we are not providing the ethical hacking certification by ec council to you you have to apply for this certification and i am going to teach you all the things which are required for passing this exam understood is this i am going to teach you all these things which are required for passing the exam okay uh, wait for a minute i am okay now my screen is visible to you correct okay yeah, yeah. correct yes after that we are going to see another one. cyber crime news in today's world we are observing various kinds of cyber crime news in a newspaper in an, on a news channel in day to day life okay there are many cyber crimes are happening around uh, around us so some of the cyber crimes are given over here like a ransomware attack performed by some of the people a us fraudster performed the attack us food importer atlanta admits the ransomware attack like this so package for cyber security professional 
so if you learn this course and if you are a fresher without any experience zero years of experience then in our india you will get at least 0.5 billion uh, sorry 5 million of package okay 0.5 million rupees package i am talking about okay and if you learn this course and you have a, a knowledge okay and you have a 3 plus years experience then you will get the package above 1 million uh, uh, up to the 2 million to 3 million per year okay so these are some of the companies which are providing very high package for a 3 plus years cyber security professional so i will provide you the knowledge which is, which will be equals to the 3 plus years experience okay means you will not face a difficulty after getting a job into the industry i will teach you all the uh, content which are given in this certified ethical hacking course okay and also this training i will allow you to share your screen and perform the things which you want to do okay if you want that i should share my screen then i should share my screen and i will show you the attacks and everything okay so it depends on your requirement your decision then these are some of the recent vacancies for a certified ethical hacker you can see that there are many vacancies okay on various job portals after learning this course you can join as a security analyst security architect security software developer crypto analyst security engineer security administrator cryptographer security consultant these will be the various post where you can apply okay then who can take this course if you are learning if you want to earn money by performing hacking hacking of a computer hacking of a operating system hacking hacking of a wifi network android device then you should learn this course this is a perfect career path for you if you want to develop your career in a cyber security domain if you want to learn various attacks you enjoy while learning the attack then you should learn this course if you want to pursue higher education in a cyber security field then you should learn this course hey what what is cyber security why cyber security what are its benefits if you learn this cyber security then you can improvise the knowledge of a various risk vulnerabilities and shortcomings in a operating system servers then you can started thinking like a hacker you can boost your existing salary suppose you are working professional and you want to boost your existing salary then you can boost your salary by learning this course by getting extra knowledge your social impact will be improved if you tell to anybody that i know cyber security i know how to perform my hacking everybody will give respect you can help your nation by providing cyber security because of this course these are some of the recent vacancies as i have already shown to you bug bounty there is one another way to earn money with the help of a bug bounty is there anybody uh, present here who knows bug bounty what is bug bounty do you want to share your thoughts anybody yes sir yes yes this good answer okay so uh, i have been practicing this bug bounty for few of the companies as freelancer That's so basically uh, they would be asking us to check their websites and check the uh, uis on the database access what they give and try to find out any of the malfunctions of the applications perfect very perfect answer given by you thank you very much so we are going to see some of the websites there are some of the websites in a word we can see here like a work crowd website okay so these websites are creating the bug bounty programs okay and in that bug bounty program you need to find various vulnerabilities in these websites or android application or ios application if you find the vulnerability then you get a amount money for each and every vulnerability now we are going to see some of the very well known website 
these are all the websites who have created bug bounty programs for you recently created bug bounty programs okay so we will see the website like uh, okay we will see this website one password website okay so you can see that this website has created a bug bounty program is and ready to provide 300 dollar to 330000 dollar per vulnerability means if you find single vulnerability and if you inform them that uh, this is a vulnerability i found that then they will give you the 300 dollar for a single vulnerability if this vulnerability has a low effect if this very vulnerability is very dangerous then they will provide you 30000 dollar for a single vulnerability. Okay. So these are the bug bounty program. So after learning this course, you can participate in a bug bounty program and you can earn money by sitting at a home. Very huge amount of money you can earn. Okay. So uh, this is one part of my training that I will uh, help you to create account on a bug bounty program, uh, bug bounty websites, and then you can start bug bounty by your own. So these are various websites which provides bug bounty. After, I want to see further. Main attraction of this course. I will teach you many concepts. This course will be of duration 30 to 32 hours duration. But some of the main attraction, few of the main attraction are given over here. I'm going to teach you Android hacking. I'm going to teach you Windows hacking, Wi-Fi hacking, penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, password hacking, cryptography, steganography, browser security, mobile security, malware security. These are some of the main attraction of this course. Questions. Do you have any questions up to here? Before moving to the further part, if you have any question, please ask me. Okay. So your silence, I am taking as a no question there. So we are going to see real time attacks in world with the help of this threat map website. This threat map website provides you real time attack scenario in all over the world. See that. In, on today's date, 3rd of April, total these around 1 billion attack, 2 billion attack has performed. Okay, so very huge attack has performed there and you can see that United States is performing attack on Mexico, Portugal is performing attack on different countries, see that, okay, these are all the attacks, okay, United States has just performed attack on Israel, Hong Kong, okay, whenever you see red line, it is a very dangerous attack, whenever you see yellow line or any other color line, it is a less dangerous attack, so the name of the attacks are here on the left hand side, Trojan, Okay, then uh, Windows attack. Okay, on the right hand side, you can see top targeted countries Mongolia, Georgia, Angola, Nepal. These are the top targeted countries. You can see top targeted industries education, government, and healthcare. These are the top targeted industries. Okay, so these are the live cyber attack. You can see every day these many attacks, billions of attacks are performed by various countries on various other countries as well as in. Uh, inside the countries also many attacks are performed okay so these websites provide you the real time attack scenario we are going to see further hello yes sir that uh, country knows that uh, attack is uh, performing on their countries or not yes actually yes country already knows that but what has yeah. happened recently i am working as a cyber security professional okay okay so what we are doing suppose anybody is performing attack on my operating system my server my network then i'm hmm. not going to complain into the police station and i will not file case against him and i'm not going to find who is that person or who is that country what i will do i will start my ips ids firewall hmm. then i will block that particular ip address by which yeah, they right. cannot perform the attack Okay. Okay. Because every day in our companies, many attacks, around uh, 50 to 60 attacks we found. 
So if yeah. we file a complaint for each and every attack, then uh, it will be very difficult for us. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So instead of that, instead of uh, defending them, we are trying to prevent ourselves by uh, enabling IPS, IDS, and firewall for this particular IP address. Okay. <laughs> there are three types of uh, hackers in a world: black hat, white hat, and gray hat. Black hat hacker earns money in a single day, earns billions of dollar in a single day. But on the second day, okay, he resides into the jail, into the prison. Okay, because his intention is very bad. Okay, he only wants to earn money in an unethical manner. Why that hacker is a person who knows everything, how to perform attack, everything, but he is not using this knowledge in a bad way, in an unethical way. He is using this knowledge in an ethical way. So why that hacker? So this why that hacker helps business and uh, also helps uh, the company to secure their infrastructure. Gray hat hacker. Gray hat hacker means the hacker who performs the hacking for a personal enjoyment or for a learning purpose. This is the third type of a hacker, which is called as a gray hat. Hacker. So all 73 people over here are a gray hat hacker. They are only enjoying and learning the kind of a hacking. After completion of your learning, you will become a white hat hacker because you are going to help any industry for uh, securing their infrastructure. And I suggest you, I request you, Please never become a black hat hacker and please never spoil my name as well as God rest technology. <laughs> Just joking. So these are some of the websites I have already told you where you can practice your hacking skill. You can perform a hack. Uh, hack. You can hack these uh, websites and it will not be treated as a crime. It will not be treated as an illegal kind of a thing. Okay. What is cyber law? In India, to protect various cyber attacks, some of the cyber laws are created. Okay, and this because of this cyber law, if any hacker performs any hacking activity, then he is definitely uh, get a punishment for imprisonment as well as fine. So you can see that if any hacker performs tamper the computer document then uh, other document without the permission of that other person, then he will get three years of imprisonment, two lakh rupees fine. If any hacker uh, publish the photo or video of any person, then he will get five years of imprisonment, two lakh rupees fine. If any hacker breach the confidentiality, okay, breach the password or any secret document, then three years of a jail and two lakh rupees fine. Two lakh means 0 0.2 million fine. So, in this way, these are various punishments provided to the hacker. That's why this is a very dangerous thing to learn. But this is a uh, by learning this thing, you will enjoy a lot and you will definitely earn a good amount of money. SQL injection. Do you know what is SQL? Can anybody tell me what is SQL? Yes. Yes. Tell me that, please. Uh, structured query language to make to make commands or queries to a database. Okay, extremely sorry. You have given a correct answer, but partially correct. Your full form is wrong. The SQL means sequential query language. Okay, and you have given a correct answer that uh, you are creating the query to create a database in a company. Now, what is database? It is a very simple thing. In a database, what you are going, you are saving the employee information, your product information, all the different kinds of information in the database. Okay, so with the help of a SQL injection attack, what attacker is doing? Attacker is adding some columns in a database, row in a database, modify the database, delete the database, record the database, various kinds of a thing can perform by attacker. So if you write this single query in a Google, then you will find that whatever the website will get after writing this query, all these websites are completely or maybe vulnerable to the SQL injection attack. Okay, dot PHP question mark ID equals to. So if you open any website after writing this query in a Google, and if you write single inverted comma there, Listen to me carefully, okay? Single inverted comma, this is a sign after the name of website. And press enter. Whatever the error you will get, 
if you get an error that sql error or sql warning it means that this website is 100% vulnerable to the sql injection attack and any hacker can perform sql injection attack on that website okay so this is called as a sql injection attack now we are going to see sql injection attack on one of the website so i again request you even though these websites are vulnerable to the sql injection attack please never perform this attack on this website because doing attack performing attack is a crime obviously so now i am showing you how to perform this sql injection attack see that just the calling in us yes do you have any question so we are performing sql injection attack with the help of a kali linux operating system kali linux is one kind of operating system which we will install on all all of your pc okay and you have to install it to try to understand to experience your hacking skill these operating system contain all the types of a hacking tools inbuilt into that website okay so you can see here if i am writing like this sql map here sql map is one of the tool which can be used for performing the sql injection attack okay then what i am writing we are going to perform this attack on one of the test website this is a test website and definitely it will not be treated as a crime if i am going to perform the attack on this test website test php dot vulnerable uh, dot com so i will use this sync first command and i'm going to teach you what is the meaning of that command see that huh? carefully please listen to me sql map what it means means we are using this sql map tool okay hyphen u hyphen this sign is called as a hyphen in our uh, hacking or linux language then u means url so on this url we are going to perform the attack okay then hyphen hyphen dbs hyphen hyphen dbs means we want to extract the name of a database that's why we have written this dbs means database i'm clicking on enter then we are going to see which different kinds of databases are there so you can see that two databases are there acute and information schema okay so what is our purpose we want as a hacker we want to extract the information of this database we want to say see we want to watch which information is there into that database this is definitely a confidential information okay and it is not allowed us to watch but because this is a test website that's why we can perform the attack on this website so now what i will do i will extract the tables in this database in a command and we are going to understand this command very first okay sql map what is sql map it is a name of tool hyphen u means url which url this is the url hyphen d means database hey please uh, don't write anything on my screen okay who is that person <laughs> okay i'm stop sharing the screen okay thank you very much so Uh, hyphen d means name of database so which database we are going to hack acure database we are going to hack there are two databases we have just observed that correct we are going to hack acure database and we want to see tables in that database that's why i have written hyphen hyphen table i am pressing enter and you can see that this database contains these many tables okay rts cards okay then these are the tables Catalog, featured guest book, pictures, products, users. Now, this user database usually contain the password and username, email ID, etc. That's why I'm going to hack this user database. So I am writing this next command here. Okay. See that. What is that command? We are going to see this. SQL map. SQL map is the name of tool. Hyphen U is the name of URL. Hyphen D is the name of database, which is accurate. Hyphen T is the user table name of table. So which table I am selecting? I am selecting users table. Okay, and then I am writing here hyphen hyphen columns. 
what it means hyphen hyphen columns means hyphen hyphen columns means i want to get the columns details here extract the column details here so i am pressing enter so i will come to know which columns are there into the user database or user table these are the column into the user table address card cc email name pass phone and unit okay now what is our next step our next step is i want to see the data into few of the columns okay so now how we we are going to see this data we are going to see that okay so again i am going to explain you this command see that sql map hyphen u hyphen u means what url hyphen d means what database which database acquire database hyphen t means what table which table user table we are selecting hyphen c means what hyphen c means column which column i use email column i want to extract the detail name column i want to extract the detail pass column i want to extract the detail and hyphen hyphen dump means what dump means dump the detail download the details show the detail i'm pressing enter here and you are going to see that we will get the details so you can see that email is a email at the rate email.com name is a john smith and password is a test so in this way you can get this information understood it is So this is a method by which you can extract the database information with the help of a SQL injection attack. So this one attack we have observed. Now we are going to see further concept where cryptography. Do you know anybody knows cryptography? What is cryptography? Can you please tell me that? Nobody knows that. Yes, Piyush Sharma, please give me the answer. So, in my terms, the cryptography is just like they uh, modify the data in terms of uh, a bit system. Uh, it, it can be a CRS or something, uh, so it can be cryptified. So, what is the meaning of cryptified? Means what? I mean, uh, somehow they change the the internal data to the, uh, to the bit so that it can be uh, secured and in some way, and the key is shared. So. That's, that's my understanding. That's my understanding of it. That's great. Your understanding and your answer both are very correct, but only technical terms are missing there. So very good try. I am really impressed. Thank you very much. So cryptography means whenever you want to send data to any person, if you are directly sending the data, any of the middle person, third party person, or attacker can see this data. Okay, can download this data and can understand which information you have sent. so if you want to avoid it you are going to encrypt the data in such a format that even though attacker can see this data he cannot read this he cannot understand it so in a cryptography plain text is there means if you are a sender you are sending plain text you are encrypting plain text with the help of a key with the help of a password okay whatever the encrypted plain text is there it is called as a cipher text this cipher text is decrypted with the help of another key so whenever any person any receiver receives your data he receives encrypted plain text which is called as a cipher text he knows key very well you have already told the key to him or uh, this is the another type of a cryptography where he use his own private key and with the help of a private key he can decrypt the data and he will get original plain text so data will be known to the person only who knows the password to decrypt the data otherwise nobody can decrypt the data understood is this this is called as a cryptogram yes pio sharma do you want to say anything else again there are two types of a cryptography first is a symmetric symmetric means for symmetric means a and b these are the two person this person is a b this person is b both are using the same keys same password okay a is using the password for example 1234 password for encrypting the message 
P is using the same password one two three four password for decrypting the message. So if same password both the users are using the sender as well as receiver, it is called as a symmetric key cryptography. There are various symmetric key cryptography algorithms like advanced encryption standard RC4, RC5, RC6, data encryption standard, Blowfish, etc. So we are going to see all symmetric key cryptography. What it means? It means that same password is not used by both the user. Suppose A and B, these are two people. Both people, both person have public key as well as private key. What A is doing? Public key of A as well as public key of B is known to everybody. Suppose you all have a public key. You are public key known to everybody. Public password known to everybody. Suppose I want to send data to the Piyush Sharma. What I will do? I will use the public password of Piyush Sharma, which is known to everybody for sending the data to him, for encrypting the data. When data will receive to the Piyush Sharma, what, what Piyush Sharma will do? Piyush Sharma will decrypt the data with the help of his private password, which is only known to Piyush Sharma and nobody else knows this password. So this is called as a asymmetric key cryptography. Understood is this? So these are two different passwords. For encryption, we are using public password. For decryption, the person using his own secret password. Understood is this? I'm going to show you symmetric key cryptography where same password is used. I'm writing a message here. For example, I'm writing here Piyush and I'm clicking on encyclopedia. Okay, this is a symmetric key cryptography. That's why we want to use same password during encryption as well as decryption. I'm writing a password of one, two, three, four. Okay. And clicking on encyclopedia. So this is an encrypted message I got after writing one, two, three, four. This is an encrypted message. Okay, I'm copying this message. You can see that. I'm copying this message and pasting it over here. And clicking on encyphering. After clicking, after pasting this message here, you can see that here decipher it option comes, means decrypt it. I'm clicking on decipher it and I'm clicking on writing a same password one two three four and clicking on decrypt so when i decrypt this message i will get original message which is called as a piyush message which i have encrypted while sending the message so do you understand this this is called as a symmetric key cryptography okay piyush asked me one of the question okay whether only plain text format can be encrypted or any other data format can be encrypted. So answer is any data can be encrypted with the help of a cryptography. Whether it is an image data, video data, chip file, any file can be encrypted and any file you can send by doing this encryption. Okay, but for a practical purpose, for experiment purpose, I have shown you the plain text. Okay, but you can uh, perform encryption of any file. I'm going to, during our actual session, I'm going to show you how to encrypt the image file also. So this cryptography is definitely used for security purposes. Then we are going to see a symmetric key cryptography now, a symmetric key. It means that two different keys are used in this cryptography, a symmetric key cryptography. So you can see. RSA algorithm is used by this website, Deoglan website. Generate RSA key. I'm clicking on this. Okay, so these are the RSA. Key. So I will use this public key to send the data. I'm clicking on Control C, copying this public key. Okay, I am writing data. So my data will be this time Kundan Kumar. I am writing Kundan Kumar. This is my name. Okay, I am pasting. I am writing public key over here for encrypting this data. Public key. Okay, and clicking on encrypt. 
when i click on encrypt my data will get encrypted you can see that this is the encrypted data okay now i am going to write this encrypted message over here for decryption now i have sent this encrypted message to my friend my friend got this message my friend wants to decrypt it then what my friend will do my friend will write this message over here then my friend will write his own private key what is the private key of my friend this is the private key of my friend so my friend will write his own private key to decrypt the message here he has written a private key use the same algorithm rsa algorithm and click on decrypt and you can see that my friend got the original data which is a kundan kumar which i have encrypted and sent to my friend and the students <coughs> this is called as a asymmetric key cryptography okay so in this way i am going to teach you various kinds of a cryptography as well as technography as well as attacks as well as cyber security and this is a completion of this demo if you have any question you can ask here or you can contact to my friend amit on this number the number of amit is given over here as well as the website is given over here so do you have any question please ask me the question yeah please okay here question asked by pere disolved that normally you send the private key over a secure connection right so the person on the other hand can decrypt the message example like get a ps ec2 remote access okay correct so you can send the private key over a secret connection as well as you can send private keys by some other method okay with the help of a hash value also you can send okay so i will also teach you how to create hash to send a private key okay please you will write on my screen okay if i am teaching very bad then please uh, sorry for that but please don't write on my screen what is the training fee asked by rajesh agrawal so training fee you can discuss with my friend amit i have already given the number of amit here Okay. The next question asked by HP laptop is that okay? Few of my friends have not muted their mic, so I request you to please mute your mic, guys. If you want to say anything, then only unmute your mic. Okay. HP laptop asked me a question. I think you don't need to be good in SQL. Yes. if you want to learn this course no need to be good in sql no need to be good in uh, kali linux no need to be good in uh, cyber security ethical hacking or networking any knowledge is not required only you should know english because i am going to teach you this course in a complete english language if you know english if you have a basic knowledge of uh, uh, some of the things then you can understand this okay if you are a hsc 12 standard pass then you can understand this course in easy right in future we discuss using algorithm what if i am not good in yeah, sql language okay who is there wait for a minute i am looking all the participants okay wait for this yes bunch bora i have yeah like now i am again sharing this okay so next question asked what will be the duration of this training duration of training will be 30 to 32 hours 30 to 32 hours okay duration after that next question asked to me is that what if i am not good in sql definitely no problem you can learn this Okay, ha ha. PHP dot net is vulnerable. Yes. Okay. How to get into Android hacking while working on mobile device? Yes, you can perform Android hacking while working on a mobile device. Do we have to have strong networking knowledge? No need of networking knowledge. I am again writing in a chat box. Okay. No need of networking knowledge as well as Linux knowledge. okay only english should be known to you weekdays or weekend yes if uh, more participants are there then i am ready on weekdays 
as well as weekends. I am ready on both the things. Weekdays as well as weekend. I am ready on. Cleaning fees you need to ask. Either, uh, please record. Yes, I am recording. Okay. So, dropping the session for shift. It was really information session. Thank you very much, Piyush Sharma. Do you have any other question? Anybody has any other question or we should stop this session now? Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> okay. Always welcome. So hope you all will join this session. Okay. And you will take advantage of this opportunity. Okay. Do we get this PPT? Definitely. I am ready to share this PPT with the permission of a Jardress technology only because I am working as a freelance trainer for Jardress technology. So if they will provide me permission to share, I will share it. How to get into Android bio setting by using hacking. Uh, how can I teach this thing right now? This is a demo session. When you join the session, I'm going to teach all these things. After this training, will CH will be clear? Yes, you can clear the certified ethical hacker course. I will also take some of the uh, MCQ test for you. I will also take some of the interviews for you. What will be the cost of course? You have to ask to the Amit, my friend. Do you have CH exam questions? Yes, I have a few of the CH exam questions. I'm going to share these questions to you. In a Google form, I will share these questions to you. Okay, Jatin Sharma, thanks. Uh, okay, welcome Jatin Sharma. Okay. So, shall we stop this session now? Yeah, so all are saying thank you. So I think so that we should stop this session. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. Have a good day. Hope you all will enjoy the session and will definitely join this course. Okay. Bye-bye. If you have any question, please ask to the Amit on his phone. Bye-bye.